former NSA senior executive, U.S. Air Force and Navy veteran, computer software expert, and whistleblower. Thomas Drake is a former senior executive of NSA. While there, he blew the whistle on a multi-billion dollar fraud. Who's coming with me? Loss of intelligence, wrongdoing, and secret dragnet of electronic surveillance and data mining the NSA conducted on a vast scale in the wake of September 11. The Justice Department then charged Mr. Drake with a 10 felony count espionage at indictment. So you got Johnny Carker's law firm. Uh, the government the case collapsed. You didn't need Johnny Carker's law firm. Okay. He is the, tw the 2011 recipient of the Ridenhauer Prize for True Telling. That bears repeating. He is the 2011 recipient of the Riding Hour Prize for Truth Teller. Put your rebellious hands together for Thomas Drake. Why are we here? We're against mass surveillance and I'm truly honored to speak for all whistleblowers. We are here together as one from all walks of life to rally against unfettered mass surveillance of the people because of the bravery and courage of Edward Snow to tell the truth about what our government is doing without our consent. Yes. The Justice Department branded me as an enemy of the state and prosecuted me under the Espionage Act. Their intention was to bankrupt, silence, and imprison me because I threatened the surveillance state. Being a whistleblower can alienate you from your colleagues and friends. Being an Espionage Act defendant can alienate you from your natural allies in the civil rights and civil liberties communities. As defenders of the Constitution and a defense of the freedom and rights of all people everywhere, we cannot let this happen to future whistleblowers. Yes. Yeah. All right. yeah. Any domestic surveillance legislation must include whistleblower protections for the, for the credibility and enforcement of any reform effort. Otherwise, secrecy enforced by repression will turn into a faux reform passed into simply an honor system by, for NSA dependent on the agency's confessions of violating new rights. I don't think so. Due to the material evidence disclosed by Edward Snowden, we now know in great detail, and I will add with much more to come, that the NSA does not have an honorable track record of telling the truth while keeping track of us without our consent, hiding behind secret laws, secret opinions, and secret interpretations in the shadow lands of surveillance. I agree, unacceptable, and we only know, we only know of government spying, illegality, wrongdoings, and violations due to the disclosures of whistleblowers. The public's eyes and ears yeah. exposing a, abuse of government power in the public interest. But without adequate protections, employees are more likely to turn a blind eye to the privacy violations of innocent Americans and risk professional and career suicide. It is the constant possibility of observation without our consent as a governed by those in power that stultify society renders creativity mute, engenders fear and erodes our freedom with the acid served up by the potent brew of secrecy combined with surveillance for the sake of security while forsaking our liberties as a price we must pay to make us feel safe. I don't think so. I was fortunate that I not, did not end up in actual prison having lived the virtual version for a number of years, for coming out of the system and speaking truth to and of power. Clearly a dangerous act of civil disobedience and individually for sure in these times, and now defined as a criminal act by the national security state, aided and abetted by journalists and reporters, expressing one's fundamental and inalienable right to individual sovereignty in the face of a government bent on destroying it. The last thing a free and open society needs is a digital fence around us, creating a virtual turnkey tyranny with the bob wire of surveillance not only keeping track of our comings and goings, but now increasingly wanting to know what we think and feel, the very essence of who we are and share as human beings. I fundamentally reject this dystopian premise.
and the siren call of security. If we just give up our essential liberties, given what happened to me and other whistleblowers like Edward Snowden. And so, it is time to roll back the surveillance state. It is time to restore the Fourth Amendment. It is time to repeal the Patriot Act. It is time to repeal the FISA Amendments Act. It is time that the United States government stops watching us. It is high time for us as the people to save the government from itself in order to form a more perfect union here and everywhere. We need to let freedom ring anew throughout the land because nothing less than our own future is at stake. Never, never forsaking life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is now my extraordinary honor and privilege to invite up to the stage Jocelyn Radak, the National